Hey guys, Mike here. So this video is going to be about screeding concrete and specifically the screed demon power screed versus hand screeding versus a stand up walk behind screed. So we're pouring the concrete for this this big house. You know, I don't know what it is. 56 by 32, I think it is. And we're using a 3500 PSI mix with a water reducer in it. So we got about a six or six and a half inch slump for concrete, which is a pretty normal slump for us with the water reducer. The water reducer allows us to pour a little bit looser slump so we don't have to kill ourselves since we pour concrete every day. So what Luke and Eric are doing right now is they're hand screeding the, the wet pads. So you can see they got a 14 foot screed and they both have to bend over and then pull the concrete towards them as they kick their feet. So let's, let's think about that for a second. Now let's look at the Screed Demon. And the Screed Demon's from MBW. And MBW is an American made company. So these, this Screed is made right here in, in the USA. So if we look at Luke now, look at the effort that Luke is putting into Screeding this bay. So he's basically just standing up straight. He's given the Screed just about half throttle. And he's just making sure his footprints are, are full when he, when he picks his feet up and, and moves them back. And you can see how easy that screed is to screed that concrete. He's watching, he's just watching both ends to make sure that he's leaving a little bit of a line with both ends. So that means both ends are touching the, the pad. They're not riding up high on it and they're not digging in deep on it. And he's just going at a nice slow pace. So he's going to screed that one bay there, which is about, that's a 12 foot rod on that screed demon. So about a 12 foot by 20 foot bay, he's gonna screed in about 30 seconds with, with basically no effort at all on his part. The guys raking behind him, which is Eric and then me, <laughs> those are the guys that are working. You, gotta, you want two good guys raking behind you. So when you do use a screed demon or, or any power screed like this, you know, it just makes your job that much easier. So here we are again, back to hand screeding. Now, you guys, let me know now in the comments which method do you think is easier, the screed demon power screed or hand screeding? And, and let me know why you think one is easier over the other. So again, Luke's bent over, two hands on the screed. I'm bent over, I got one hand on the screed. I'm screeding off the top of the wall. He's kicking and filling his foot tracks in as he's going watching the end of his screed to make sure he's touching his pad and scoring. And I don't know if you noticed the sheen on the concrete after hand screeding. It's, there's not as much of a sheen as there is when you so as when you uh, power screed with the screed demon. The screed demon brings up more cream and paste and it, and it vibrates the aggregate down a little bit lower. It makes it a lot easier to bow float. So now what I'm doing is I'm using a little stand-up screed we made and this thing's about a six foot screed. I got a bull float handle hooked to it. And now I don't have to bend over and kick my feet. I can just pull that out, pull the concrete towards me, and then fill my feet in as I need to, and also fill in behind the screed as I need to. Now you can see Luke's over there. He's getting ready to use the screed demon again and come down that bay while I'm hand screeding that middle piece in by all those pipes. So he's, he's using a, a screed demon walk behind and I'm using a stand up handheld walk behind with no motor on it. Um, and it does leave, you know, it does leave the surface a lot more coarse with aggregate, which means you might have to bull float it a little bit more to get that aggregate down versus the screed demon. I mean that, that really vibrates the surface nice and gives you a lot of pace to work with right at the surface. So, you know, there's no going in with a jitterbug. There's, you basically, you can see, Tia's just got the four foot bull float. She's going over it with the bull float and it's it's turning, the surface turns out really nice. And because of the pace that Luke is going, you know, he's going at a nice, you know, what I would say a nice, slow, even pace. He's making sure that that floor is coming out really flat using that power screed. 
you can go faster. You can give it more throttle if you want. But, you know, we like our floors to come out as flat as possible. So that's why we use a laser level to shoot all our wet pads. We strike our wet pads by hand. And then if we, if we can use the Screed Demon, you know, in an open area, we use the Screed Demon. We like to go around pipes by hand instead of stopping and starting too much with uh, you know the screed demon we'll just use a little bit shorter screed in between the pipes and make sure that area all comes out nice and level you can see that you know Darren is bending over a little bit but not quite as much as when we use the hand screed like this right here so how many of you guys hand screed down the comments let me know or or how many of you have never screeded at all but want to you know, you want to learn how to hand screed or you're thinking about maybe buying a, a screed like the screed demon. Let me know down in the comments also. Let's, and give this video a thumbs up if you like this kind of content. You know, I come out with videos like this twice a week teaching all about concrete, teaching all about flat work, how to work with concrete. So if you like that kind of stuff, you know, please hit subscribe. So there we are. We've done that bay. Now we're jumping over to this other bay, and we're, we're, we're hand screeding this edge over here because it's that's only about 10 feet over there, and we didn't really didn't want the screed demon, you know, running into the pipes because that has a 12-foot board on it. So we just went down a board size and just hand screeded so we could show you a little bit of the difference between hand screeding versus power screeding with a, with a screed demon. So you can see we both got to bend over. Two guys behind us raking the concrete. And then it doesn't push the aggregate down quite as far. But even even so, it's still not that hard to bow float something like that. There's not you can see T is bow floating right there. There isn't a ton of effort into bow floating that, especially when you pour, you know, a six inch slump, a good workable slump. So now I'm back to using the, the screed demon coming down this last bay. Twelve foot board on it giving it about half throttle and I'm just if you watch my head I'm looking at both ends that's all I'm doing the screed kind of floats on the surface itself it, it doesn't sink in the surface all you got to do is just keep it moving nice and slow pulling backwards on it and just watch your ends make sure your ends are touching on both sides as long as you're touching then you're fine you got a nice flat floor if you feel like you're digging in if you feel like you're you're riding up high on the mud because your rakers aren't pulling enough back then you just stop and set back two three four feet whatever you need to and do it over again and you can see how I'm finishing up this last bay the speed I'm going at and all in all this was if I remember right this was about a 21 yard floor took us about 45 minutes to pour the whole thing partially hand screed and partially using a power screed so it's it's relatively fast really and no one's you know you're not hurting your back the, the screed demon weighs about I don't know 35 40 pounds it's not really that heavy so it's pretty easy to move around and to finish out this last little piece we're gonna show you how Luke's gonna bend over and hand screed this so if you guys like this kind of stuff you know give me a thumbs up appreciate you watching uh, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you on the next video, guys.